Throughout history, few topics have inspired such fear and excitement as exorcisms, and it is no different in Mexico. Where the devil did you disappear to? I asked a Mexican friend who had suddenly vanished from WhatsApp for more than a week. I was in Rome, answered my friend, whom I will call Joaquin. An unexpected opportunity came up to take a course there, and on the spur of the moment I decided I would accept. A course in exorcism, he replied, his eyes sparkling, as if he had been taking singing lessons from Taylor Swift. What possessed you? I was tempted to say, but didn't. Out came Joaquin's telephone, and there he was in front of St. Peter's Basilica, with a group of about 25 other exorcism students from all around the world. All this happened two weeks ago, and today he popped in to announce, yesterday I assisted in an exorcism. They gave me permission to record it, audio only. Just listen to this. Joaquin explained that the exorcism took place in a church in Guadalajara and was performed by two Catholic priests. I was only acting as an assistant, he told me. It was my job to hold the arms of the possessed girl, which means I got spit on more than once. The girl was 12 years old and had participated in a school visit to a cemetery. The kids had brought along a Ouija board and had fooled around with it in the hopes of contacting someone buried there. They were overly successful. Shortly after her visit to the cemetery, this girl began to behave very strangely in the evenings, scratching her arms until they bled. She was taken to doctors and to a psychiatrist, which the Catholic Church requires before any talk of exorcism is possible. But in this case, none of these professionals could explain what was happening to this Nina, and she kept getting worse. When the girl started speaking a strange language, which someone thought was Aramaic, an exorcism was authorised. At this point, Joaquin turned on the audio recording. It could have been a soundbite from the 2023 film The Pope's Exorcist, said to be based on the case files of Father Gabriele Amoth, played by Russell Crowe. The recording was good and I could hear a priest loudly and repeatedly commanding the evil spirit to depart the girl's body. Then I heard the voice of whatever was inside that girl. To me, it sounded like the roars of a man, not a girl, a man who was absolutely furious and howling in agony. This dialogue between the priest and that voice coming from the child ended with a final roar of anguish. And then the girl slumped. My friend Joaquin, who is quite fit, said he had had difficulty holding her arms. Suddenly, she was a 12-year-old girl again. It was over, just like that, said Joaquin, who claimed he was looking forward to his next chance to help out in an exorcism.